Hello my friends! Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to teach you about the wonderful world of Tumblr gimmick blogs. But first we must define what is a gimmick blog. A great example is HaikuBot, which is a bot that someone has programmed to detect accidental haikus in Tumblr posts. Something seemingly pointless yet delightful. People have asked me if blogs like OSHA Official or the more recent and a favorite of mine Amtrak Official are gimmick blogs. And I think no. They're more roleplay blogs that kind of draw you in with this initial joke and then genuinely educate you about a social issue. What about Warrior Mail or Constable Frozen or that guy who has posted thousands of pictures of intricate tinfoil sculptures to a rapturous 50 to 100 notes each? Those blogs certainly have something going on. But what makes them so fascinating is that they are really just doing their own thing. Like, they are the niche and they don't really seem to care that much who's watching. Whereas gimmick blogs, I think, are defined by their interaction with the Tumblr community. A, a gimmick, after all, is defined as a funny little trick used to get people's attention and that is exactly what they do. They tend to either respond to asks or reblog and hijack posts doing their thing, doing their gimmick. By my definition, the official strange definition, a gimmick blog is one that interacts with the Tumblr community in a seemingly pointless yet kind of delightful way over and over again. I know most of you are YouTube users who are swallowing this at face value, but I have already caused... <laughs> I have already caused polarization among the Tumblr users, I know it! However, before I begin introducing you to some of these blogs, I've got to tell you a little bit about this video sponsor, Vessie Shoes. Last month, my girlfriend and I visited New York and there was this beautiful rainy day when we went for a walk in Central Park. However, we had not packed a lot of variety in shoes and we were both wearing nice leather shoes. If only we had our Vessie Shoes! I'm not kidding, I'm ruining all my nice shoes! No, we can't. We can't jump in the puddles. Bessie shoes are 100% waterproof, letting you enjoy those beautiful rainy days in comfort and style. Bessie sent me a pair of their Ulta high tops just in time for winter. The high top offers extra shielding against snow, slush, and water. Extra grippy soles and cozy fleece lining ensure that your feet will stay warm even in the coldest conditions. Bessie also sent me their overcast jacket. It's 100% waterproof and wind resistant with an adjustable hood and secure zipper pockets. You can even pair it with your Bessie waterproof gloves. If you're ever biking in the rain, these things will absolutely save your life. Make sure you go check out Bessie Styles at bessie.com slash strangeons for 15% off your first order. And now I return you to your regularly scheduled content. Like I said, HaikuBot is kind of the originator of this trend, but I also think saying that kind of sets a misleading precedent, because unlike HaikuBot, the blogs that I'm going to talk about in this video are not run by bots. They are just people with weird hobbies, endearing, and some spare time. As usual, with the iceberg format, we will start relatively simple and descend into madness and unreality. Level number one. Did the king die yet? .tumblr.com, formerly known as did the queen die yet? .tumblr.com, and then, you know. Every day this blog makes a post with the date at the top, and then if by the end of the day the king has not died, they update it to say, no, we're one of these days. Is it out of touch Thursday .tumblr .com? I don't know, is it? Monday? No. Tuesday? No. Wednesday? No. Thursday they post the video of the anime girls dancing to the 1984 song Out of Touch. You're out of touch. I'm out of touch. Friday? No. Saturday? No. Sunday? No. Monday? No. Tuesday? No. Wednesday? No. Thursday? It is very popular to post this video or reblog this video on Thursday and wish everyone a happy out of touch Thursday. So of course, there's a whole gimmick blog dedicated to it. Alphabet Completionist. Alphabet Completionist reblogs posts and informs users just how many letters of the alphabet they have managed to use in their post. How seemingly pointless, yet kind of delightful. How many letters? In a very similar vein, how many letters.tumblr.com informs you how many letters you've managed to use in your post not necessarily in relation to the total of 26, just how many. It even breaks down the results based on reblogs. Are you enthralled yet? tcounter.tumblr.com, that's right. Have you ever wanted to know specifically how many letter T's are in your post? What about E's? What about A's? Of course, letters are not the only component of language, which is why we have punctuation completionist. What about numbers though? Numbers completionist. But what if you wanna see all of this data combined in one place? A psi completionist has you covered. But what if instead, you only want sevens. What if you want to know how many abbreviations from the periodic table you have accidentally used 
in your post. Periodic completionist. Rainbow completionist will tell you how many colors of the rainbow appear in your post. There's so many more of these types of blogs, but I think that's enough for this list. We will descend now into level two of the iceberg. Identifying cars in posts. Identifying cars in posts does exactly what is advertised. If there's a picture of a car in a post, they will identify that car. Who would win Amy Rose automobile? 2013 to 2016 Audi RS6 Avant, 2011 to 2013 Kia Sportage, 1993 to 1997 Mazda 626. If you're not into cars though, don't worry, maybe cat identifier will be more up your alley? What about dinosaurs? In the Bible.tumblr.com. This one will reblog your post and inform you how many words in your post also appear in the Bible. I imagine this one is probably inspired by the Classic Tumblr clapback, none of these words are in the Bible. And yes, this side of Tumblr did get a hold of my post asking for gimmick blog suggestions for this video, by the way, which I found quite fun. Color picking pride. This blog will sample the colors from your post and put them into a custom pride flag for you. Poststore.tumblr.com. Dedicated to bringing only the fairest prices to Tumblr posts. I hate your fucking green hair. They remind me of toxic slutch. I never posted this because I wanted to keep it forever, but I think posting it is the best way. I say toxic slutch many times a week. Thank you. Post store has priced this at $19.99. Oh, my soggy posts. You like them? Ringing them out. My posts! Selling your post juice at a corner store at 25 cents a cup. $1 post. Silent Hill 2 live vlogs, let's go. Ah, 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 pretty scary. $18.99 post. If some of these prices seem a little steep to you, don't worry. You can get some great deals over the free post store. Every post is $0. Of course you have blood all over you. And pronouns. Easy website. Me when I'm trying to calm down my horse named website. Weird horse. Website is a valid warrior cat's name. Train wreck of a post. Hit reblog. Ow. Zero dollar post. Color remover will reblog your post, having removed all of the color from it. Apparently they even give out white M&Ms for Halloween. I say okay.tumblr.com. As advertised, this person will reblog your posts and say okay, although they do add punctuation to clarify the tone of the okay. Am I being played? Are these just people's regular blogs where they collect things that they like, except now they add seemingly useless comments? Is your post gray.tumblr.com? This one mainly reblogs gray posts and confirms yes, these posts are gray. Orange content writer, in case you have ever wondered not only whether a post is orange, but how good it is at orange. We now descend even deeper into these icy waters, the third level of the gimmick blog iceberg. Daily quests. Daily quests suggests everyday quests for Tumblr users to complete if they see them pop up on their dash. Purchase Nan from a vendor. Discover butter cookies inside a butter cookie tin. Defeat other players in a scooping match. Escape the pain dimension. Survive the torture. Destroy or marry the evil AI lady. Send a member of your friends list to hell. Fall asleep horribly. I do that all the time. Change forever. Sexualize a robot. Dailykafka.tumblr.com. Dailykafka.tumblr.com posts quotes from the diaries of Franz Kafka, which correspond with the actual date. What's the Kafka for today? November 10th, bed. November 10th, I haven't yet written down the decisive thing. I am still going in two directions. The work awaiting me is enormous. Franz Kafka, you are so right. I have another fan fiction video to make soon. Kafka knew exactly how I feel. He already wrote about every feeling you've ever had. I know. Franz Kafka is like a Tumblr girl to me. Littleguysdaily.tumblr.com. This blog provides us with little guys, little creatures. And then of course ranks those little guys in the categories of chunkability, engaging, squishiness, splorpability, bones, and media literacy. My mom came home from the thrift store nearly in joyful tears and pulled out of her shopping bag with utter glee. This man. Little Guys Daily has categorized this guy Elfbird, skill, sweet kicks, excellent chunk ability and engaging. Not, not much of anything else though. That's fair. Tibetan wolf puppy with a horn? Name Tibetan wolf puppy, skill, hunting. Very chunk ability and engaging, decent squishiness and splorb ability and quite a few bones in there also. Pointless achievements. This blog accepts asks from other users, telling little stories of things that have happened in their lives and assigns them an achievement for said happenings. A friend of mine ate over 50 mussels in the span of seven minutes, and he didn't even know they were called mussels until muscle number 39. Achievement unlocked. 
Muscle bound. Hey, stop hogging them. That's shellfish. Hey, what's with you guys' obsession with the Onceler from the Lorax movie? You knew he was like made of pure capitalism, right? That he was an allegory for greed? You knew that, right? That is why we shipped him exclusively with himself. Achievement unlocked. How bad could it possibly be? Learn about Oncest. May the Lorax have mercy on your soul. The Glitter Painter. This person will reblog your post, having added a screenshot of your post, now caked in a glitter filter. Just absolutely caked. Kittybroker.tumblr.com. You've heard of pricing posts and identifying cats? What about a gimmick blog for pricing cats? This is the eternal gimmick blog spiral. We will never escape. Casper. Casper, we will never escape. Where do you think you're going, sir? Get your butt out of my frame. Get your butt! Level 4 of the iceberg. It's time to start getting weird. Postanagramgenerator.tumblr.com I think it's especially worth clarifying that this one is not run by a bot, just a guy. They will respond to your post with an anagram of your post. How did you get to be so cool and smart? Shot God in a sword duel, OC? Eat my boot. To be fair, some of them are not perfect. How old is Aristotle? Oldy as shit or two? My friend, could you encourage me to make progress on my game? Programming is scary and evil, actually. FYI, my man, my sir, you control unparalleled gaming magic. Ergo, you're a scourge on code mistakes. Ready, MVP? Do you think you could possibly tell me some of the many benefits of being a marine biologist? That's a t old Tumblr meme that lasted like a week, don't even worry about it. Emo crime boss make you gotta sleep in the fish? Big ol' oily bottlenose dolphin time and bubble on out. Yay. Can they kill Macbeth? .tumblr.com. This blog will be cataloging and categorizing characters that could theoretically kill a Macbeth from Shakespeare's Macbeth. And it does indeed do exactly as promised. I especially love how the profile picture implies that Doofenshmirtz from Phineas and Ferb could in fact kill Macbeth from Shakespeare. Official fish posts. This blog is dedicated to reblogging fish fish-related content. What sets it apart from a regular fish blog and makes it a gimmick blog, though, is that it makes sure to certify every post official fish post when it does so. Likewise, there is official boob post. Especially in light of the old infamous Tumblr female presenting nipples ban, this one feels quite scandalous. Meat titties. I mean, technically all titties are meat titties. Official boob post. Official boob post. This is a post about boobs. Thanks. <laughs> identifying horses in posts. You may be wondering why this is a couple tiers down from identifying cars, cats, and dinosaurs. If you have a post and you need a horse identified, come to us. We have over 350 years experience. You can tell a lot by a woman's hands. For instance, she has hooves. Horse. Is this true? Not enough information. Are the hooves cloven? This is one of those horses you'd see painted onto the side of a van in the 1970s, along with maybe a wizard. These vibes. That's a van horse. These horses are awesome. That's an identification, right? Is this a horse? Nah. Obvious imposter, probably a manatee trying to scam some free grass. The first bank .tumblr com. The first bank of Tumblr will reblog your posts offering you vague, unhelpful, and somewhat menacing advice. Weird things happening on your post? We can help with that. Have you put the word penis in your post? Did you get a lot of notes from it? We can help you manage them. Click here for more information. Said link directs you to the Wikipedia page for lie. Localairport.tumblr.com. Updates from your local airport. What happens at Terminal 3? Nothing. It does not exist. Don't speak of it. Think about it or write it down. They call it the leg of a flight because your layover is ass. The pilot's lounge coffee machine was not fixed in time. The Starbucks in Terminal 2 has been collectivized. We apologize for the delays. The planes on the tarmac are all very scared because it's foggy. Due to cultural sensitivity issues, we want to inform passengers that we have not and will not decorate the local airport for Halloween, so you may rest assured that any ghost ghouls, or apparitions you may spot at local airport are results of 100% authentic natural bad vibes processes and hauntings, etc. This includes any sightings of Terminal 3. For the last time, do not board any trams, trains, taxis, or tapirs to Terminal 3. We descend now to level 5 of the iceberg. Randomitemdrop.tumblr.com This blog is a catalog of items. Helpfully described. Item. Brown velvet cap decorated with human teeth. Item. Sponge collecting hook. Item. Toothed cactus. Item. Industrial jugs of potion of heightened awareness, potion of well-being, and potion of spicy rub. They all look just alike. Hope nobody swapped the labels. Things that cannot save you. .tumblr .com. 
Clown friend from Wall Toys cannot save you. Faithful adherence to the Halloween law cannot save you. Ensuring that every child in the neighborhood can enjoy a pleasing Halloween pierogi cannot save you. Appropriate disposal of joy cannot save you. Whole duck in natural juice is ready to be served cannot save you. Thoughts of eel. Hello, lovely eel. How is your crevasse? Do you have any other great recipes? Crevasse is cozy, and eel has multitude of excellent recipes. Meatball? Ask the public to give eel meatball, then eat. Work every time. Do you know the snipe eel? Yes, Paul. I hate him. Do you have any tips for first-time eels? Grow mucus. Prince with the sludge warning and they will never bite you. What in the hell does that mean? Peeks into crevice. Hello? I'm electrician. Too late. I have eaten all of the electric. Throws 15 shrimp into your tank. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Carbon monoxide detector.tumblr.com. You know when a Tumblr post reads like someone is maybe just a little too loopy while writing it? Something might be making them a little bit weird. There might be a carbon monoxide leak in your precious Tumblr mutual sexy chicken shawarma dinner's house? You better get a detector for that. People will try and make you forget that you're made of meat. Do not ever forget that you're made of meat. Hi, I have no memory of posting this. <coughs> Joe Biden, how do I look in this chef's hat, Giuseppe? Giuseppe, the presidential butler. Wayfish and breedable as always, my lord. Joe Biden, fabulous, pass me the improbable meat. OP, please check your carbon monoxide detectors. Posts that reek of carbon monoxide poisoning. Gas leak core. I will have you all know that I breathe nothing but the finest quality airs and they are loaded chock full with nutrients. Posts I really hope don't age well. You wish my air is poisonous, Junior? You want me to imagine dragon breathing in the chemical? Giuseppe, smite this fool. I live with her and regret to inform everyone that she is just like this. No gas leak or drugs required. Carbon monoxide detector did not did not go off on this post. Why is it called Montserrat Pipeline Pink if you pour pink can orange out drink from glass? What? Orng? I'm okay with breasts and nipples being slapped onto non-mammalian creatures in art because I figure it's like when a butterfly has eyes on their wings, they just evolved like this as a weird? Why is no one talking about how it straight up smells like PDFs on here today? I think I had to explain this, but this is so true. Gas leak. Update, there is actually a gas leak in my house. <laughs> the magical vending machine. You can insert anything you would like into the magical vending machine and it will provide you with some kind of a fun treat. I insert a soul of the not so innocent. The machine dispenses a donut. Insert a rotting corpse and a coin. The machine holds a funeral. Inserts the power cord into the coin slot. The machine electrocutes you. Inserts a note asking how many people have died directly or indirectly due to the machine. The machine answers, a few. Just collapses dead on the floor right before I put money into the machine. The machine picks you up and drags you into the coin slot. I insert 35 liters of water, 20 kilograms of carbon, 4 liters of ammonia, 1.5 kilograms of lime, 800 grams of phosphorus, 250 grams of salt, 100 grams of saltpeter, 80 grams of sulfur, 7.5 grams of fluorine, 5 grams of iron, 3 grams of silicon, and trace amounts of 15 other elements. A human being is created. Level 6. Congratulations on making it to the most cursed tier of this iceberg. Readingcompposting.tumblr.com Normalize providing context. Do you think they know this is the funniest ask ever? Check for understanding. What is a Tumblr ask? What tone does the anonymous asker use? How might they feel about OP? Discuss with a mutual. Why does OP think this is funny? Do you agree? I am having flashbacks to elementary school textbook. Ow. Huge red flag when someone's bio doesn't contain their street address, work hours, and the location of their spare key. Check for understanding. What does OP mean when they say huge red flag? Do you think OP is genuine in this post? Why or why not? Discuss with a mutual. Why do you think that OP made this post? <laughs> Obviously this one is a commentary on the willful ignorance and or complete lack of attention span of many internet users these days. Something about this drives me completely insane and I hate it, um, but at the same time it's... I have seen people, I, I constantly see people wildly miss the point of posts to the point that something like this would genuinely be helpful. Welcome to baby's first post. What is joking? <laughs> pjack.tumblr.com pjack is a character from a 90s video game. The original pjack character is a robot. So this blog posts a lot of uh, not robotly things such as Horny posting and posting pictures of really cursed looking food. Who likes me? Let's smoke DM me. No minors on my page. I'm all about that nasty shit. Let's pretend we're together all alone. They hack my mind to show me cruel videos. 
Let me know if you live close to me. I'd love to get fucked up and be destroyed by your body. Alien eggs in gunk for lunch. Wicket's way for machine to get pregnant. Urgent, please answer ASAP. You're a mess, P-Jack. Fix your life. My new hardware upgrade will look at me direct invisible gamma radiation beams to people when they look at me as a method to prevent attackers who want to hurt me so bad. I'm so fuck up, I might do something bad. I'm not doing good, I will never fucking be magnetic. I'm just feeling like it's not worth it anymore. Imagine how much more beautiful the world would be if we all took up hammers and screwdrivers and took P-Jack completely apart and flattened him back into the three or four sheets of scrap metal he was folded out of. We could save reality. How do you know which way the turn the screws? Serious question. I've been trying to put the batteries in my goon rig, but I don't know which way to use my drill hand for opening the cover off. I don't want to be around mush clonger. Yep. I'm going to pelt you with dozens of massive neodymium magnets. Why? Why do you even eat meat when you're a robot? Do you just eat dogs for fun? Why do you waste time masturbating when you will be alive for much shorter than me? Well, it's called for pleasier? It's me again, your worthless friend. Or foe. Am I following P-Jack yet? No, I'm not following P-Jack. Okay, now I'm following P-Jack. Those are all of the gimmick blogs that I have to share with you today, my friends. I hope that you enjoyed learning about what lurks in the recesses of Tumblr with me, because my lord, even I learned a few things while compiling this list. Congrats on making it to the end with me, and I will see you in another one very soon.